dude, I'm incredibly upset. I just lost a round. I just lost a game. I don't know why. Like, I got hit by the side heavy, and I went to parry the top heavy that he threw afterwards. And I guess I didn't parry it. Even though I got the parry animation on my screen. I saw him put his hand up with his sword to make the X to block and parry that. But, whatever. Alright. Whatever Ubisoft decides is what Ubisoft decides. And if I didn't win, I didn't win. So, alright. I hate this game. I just, I hate it because the only place to play it is online. And the only way to play it is online. There's not really any other kind of way to, you know. Anyways. Great. Yeah, it's been nothing but hard matches today. Only hard matches. Only hard matches. You're gonna fight all the peacekeepers and kenseis ever out there. You're gonna fight all the fucking scent mirrors too. It's not a hard match, but we know you hate playing it. And you're gonna fight all the gladiators. Let's not forget the gladiators. Round one. And next after this, I'm gonna have to fight a warden. You still did it? Light mist, you're still gonna do the toe stab. All right, pal. Whatever makes you happy. Round two. Uh, hopefully he keeps doing that, so I can sidestep it. I shouldn't have pulled that one back there. I should have been dead. Round three. All right. I wish I was better, that way you guys can have better content to watch, but I don't know, I'm just not there. I still have school and stuff and work, and the way I gotta live, right, and be comfortable, it's, it's hard to do. Tic-tac-toe. Was it, that's the other one. The Apiris.
Sorry, pal. Um, we only play people one time here. When we record. Um, maybe if you catch me when I'm not recording. Or I'll get the... Or I'll get a run back with him. Alright. Let the chips fall where they may. <sighs> I knew it. I knew this would happen too. That's why I didn't want to rematch him. Because I felt this coming. From a mile away. It's like, mm, you know what? I didn't beat him with my gladiator, so let me play this fucking centurion I have. And you know what? He's gonna beat me too. He's gonna beat me, and then he'll probably oh, message me saying, Oh, get wrecked, scrub. My centurion's way better than yours. Or some weird shit like that. That one got a little hairy at the end. Or a lot of heavies getting thrown out. Round two. That doesn't work. Doesn't work. I've got to kick you to death. Okay, cool. That sucks. Round three. Because he's not gonna dodge. So it's like, okay, how many times are you willing to take the kick? Oh, I have to kick you to death. Alright. <laughs> And I'm gonna back it up. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, wow, wow was right. Well, I was right. Yeah. That's the salty counter pick I talk about, and people don't believe me. All right? But whatever. It's not like I have experience. And it's not like I've been playing other fighting games before. So I know what I'm talking about. But everyone's like, well, if I feel like I do better with this character, no, you don't. You're full of it. Don't make that, don't, don't try and make some excuse for why you want to clearly counterpick somebody. Don't try and make some excuse about, oh, I feel more confident with this character. No, you don't. It's like, let me just pick this shit that I know beats this character. Alright. 
came from a game that's about matchups, man. I came from a franchise that's about matchups. I know when I see, I know a salty counterpick when I see one. All right, like if I'm playing fucking metallic tremor, and I see somebody switch, and I see somebody who I've been beating up as Cyrax switch to Grandmaster Sub Zero, it's like ah, I see what's going on here. Or like if I'm playing Ryu and I see somebody switch to fucking Rose or Rolento, it's like ah. I see what's going on here. Or like, it better if I'm playing someone like Ryu and I see somebody pick Sagat after I roll up their Rolento or their Rose, or in one case, some guy's Aeon and then his Dan and then his Guile. His Guile was the worst. I could jump on that guy's Guile like it was a trampoline. And he switched right to Sagat. I was like, oh, I see. You're also one of them. You know, it's like if I see somebody, like if someone's playing Smash, right? And shout outs to Lord Pixel Tricks. I say it a whole, I used to say it a whole lot because I really like what he does on YouTube. And I really like who he is. I haven't met him yet, but I like him. He's cool. But shout outs to Pixel Tricks, man. Because like if someone, if you're playing like Ganon and someone makes a switch to Marth or Lucina, or a Cloud, or Bayonetta, that's, that, there's a salty counterpick, especially after you fucking dunk on them, it's like, oh, alright, fuck feeling confident, I want some shit that's gonna scum this guy out, I know what I'm talking about, alright, Anyways, uh, in other news, um, I have no other news really. I'm supposed to start work soon. That's going to be, I hope, work is fun. Alright. I hope work is dope and I can go to work and be stress free and come home and tell you guys something good that happened at work. And hopefully not get junk from gear crates, but I'm always gonna get junk. 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 All of it. More junk. This hilt is tr this hilt is so weird because it's the bird. Junk. Junk. Ah, it's all junk. Whatever. Fuck it. We'll go play some brawls or something. Take our mind off of duels, because man, I gotta tell you. Like before, I played duels and I felt like super bummed out the whole time. Because I hate playing duels. It's whack. But then I've been really thinking about it. Do you just hate duels or do you hate playing the game? I don't know. I feel like I might hate playing the game. But I like... Look at this guy. He's so cool. I like this character. So I'm willing to stick it out. Right? I was definitely tired of getting fucking dunked on by vipers. And Makoto's and Chun Li's and shit. And Street Fighter got Ryu in the game. And then I had Adon. I was like, alright, whatever. Fuck it, let's do this. I hella didn't like getting fucking shit on by Batgirl in Injustice, right? Where you have to guess for your entire life. Where you really you have to guess to see whether or not you can play the game. But. Zod was in the game. He was pretty cool. I liked Zod. I liked his weird beard and his machine gun that shot electric Out bubbles. That was pretty sick. So I stuck around. Anyways, let's let's get beat up real quick. Hmm. <laughs> 
Give me a break with that. Yeah, let's get rid of that step. Of course, because I for sure don't want to be caught out. Uh, I feel so dumb. I saw it coming and I did nothing to stop it. I'm so trash. What if in brawls they made revenge activation not safe, right? Like if you cancel in a revenge, you're not safe and you can get guard broken. One top light or a zone will do it. Those are his two fast attacks. Good deflect. Juan Melda. Ugh. Round two. Melda it sounds too much like Milda. Don McGlass. That's so BS, dude. <sighs> Whatever. I don't know why that happens. I'll do a kick and then an unblockable sign, sign will show up and then they'll like dodge away. Round four. I don't I don't get it. Alright buddy. How good your defense really? Not good at all, huh? Hold that. The revenge, the Roman cancel, huh? I feel like though if we're gonna do revenge, I feel like revenge, I take it back. Make it unsafe if you activate it without canceling off of something. So if you 
like do revenge activation off of like okay make revenge activation negative if you do revenge if you are activate revenge after losing your stamina right so if you throw an attack that puts you out of stamina then you lose then revenge is unsafe and you can be guard broken or if you cancel into revenge no or if you just activate revenge in the open it's not safe and you can be guard broken then but if you activate revenge off of a move while you still have stamina so in the highlanders case he did uh, Celtic curse right he did Celtic curse uh, he did Celtic curse uh, swing left right which came on to swing left right which was a right side attack but hit on my left side but he goes right you know what I mean he did Celtic curse swing left now if he does that and then cancels into revenge he should be safe where he can't be guard broken during revenge but only in brawls the only other time he should be safe is if he uses revenge to parry something if he uses revenge to parry then he should be good uh, what does this guy want to do? So I'm gonna do... He hated it more than I did, though. That sucks for that guy. He's got to fight. I'll, I'll give him two 1v1s. Yeah, that's That for sure sucks. I know that feel. Oh, when your teammate leaves, so you gotta fight two guys. That sucks. I know how that feels. Let's get out of here. I know that's gotta suck. Cause like, your teammate got beat up and he's like, fuck it, I'm out. 
uh, I was uh, reading Reddit today, right? And an idea really caught my eye. This one guy said, if you leave a match, right, and your team wins, you should be notified. It's like, if your team, it's like, if you leave a match and your team ends up winning that match or losing that match, you should be notified or something like that right like if your team loses it's like well clearly they needed you this is what happens when you leave or when they win it's like well clearly they didn't need you to win so you know I think that's kind of a cool thing um I'm not sure how they would do it but I thought it was pretty cool um hopefully we can get one more in before the recording is up because I don't have a timer for this usually I use my cell phone but that bad boy is dead alright um, I was about to say well if that's the case I'm gonna eat this yogurt right here who's on my team for days oh this is the Kensei player from earlier I know this guy. Mm hmm. I played him already. And I, uh, while I don't like him, when the 2v2s happen, the inevitable 2v2s happen, I will be sure to help him out. Because, listen, the last thing I want is my teammate getting beat up because I chose to stand absent stand idly by now there are different circumstances right where if everybody else is doing this peaceful uh, 2 1v1 type of thing and my teammate runs over to gang somebody it's like well now you gotta deal with the 2v1 pal round one all right a warlord look at his thing on his head Ugh. I'm gonna hit you so fucking hard. I don't think so, sir. Ow. Touch this wall for me. Oh, my teammate's dead. Are you for serious? Serious here? That's so bogus. Really? Really? Okay. That's that's a little ridiculous. Cause not only was he already dead, whatever.
Get him out. Get him out. That's enough of that. <sighs> so I still gotta beat that Kensei, dude. I gotta beat him up here? That's enough of him. And uh, I dodged. I can't believe I fell for the okie dog. Ugh. Cause I know I'll shit on both of them in a 1v1. Easy. But whatever. Are they gone? No, they're leaving, pal. No way. They're leaving. I can't leave him, though. I can't leave him, right? Because if he wants to go back in, he, he's going to go back in. I'm not going to leave him here. So, fuck it. Let's go again. And this time, since we know what's going on, we'll fucking crush these assholes. And I hope that guy picks his shitty warlord again. Ah, there we go. That's who you really play. You don't play Kensei. Nah. <laughs> mm. Well. See what we got here. I'm gonna go help this man out. Check this wall out. Nope, I'm gonna go help my teammate. In 
Now you're out of stamina. I'm glad you decided to throw your life away. That was great. Why would you do that if you know you're low on stamina? Whatever. He probably didn't know because... He was like, fuck it. Round three. This is my main chicken. This is who I play. I'm helping my teammate. I'm backing it up. And I'm punching this clown in the face. Give me your stamina. out of stamina just zone it when in doubt zone it out there you go it's a shame you know that it's absolute shame but that's how that goes I help my teammate And I'm on a team with that other guy. I. You know what? Hey. If you've got my back, I've got your back. I don't think he will, but. Alright. Damn. Dude, what did I tell you? You don't play Kensei. You don't play Kensei. You don't play Highlander. Your teammate doesn't play fucking Warlord. Do you guys even play For Honor? Jesus. And it sucks because whatever fuck it he's my teammate and if he needs help I will help him because my attitude of looking at it is the wrong attitude to have it should be like hey this is my teammate now and whatever differences we had as opponents set that aside because hey there are bigger fish to fry out here and I'm pretty hungry. Ugh, man, what is this texture here? This rain? I don't like that. I'm not a fan. I think this is gonna be the last one and then I'll upload this right away. I'll make it public. Okay, what do we got here? A conqueror? Hey, are you there? Okay, he is there. Um. Alright, cool. Uh. Where you going, pal? Uh, pal, where you going? Hey. Don't you run from me. You can't run from all your problems, Henry. This is why we broke up in the first place. No, that, there you go. Hey, no, fuck it, fuck it. 
Hey, no. Pick that guy up. Because that guy is going to do nothing but try and gank. There. Now that we've got that sorted. What did I start? <laughs> Aha! On guard. On guard, Monsieur. Check this out. Victory! Round two. On guard, monsieur. On guard, monsieur. Ah, stab him. And then we're gonna stab it with his own knife. Alright, dope. See, why do they always run from me? Why can't I find love? Why? So if you, so I worked out, if you kill your teammate and then kill both enemies, it's a triple kill. Which means potentially in three rounds, I could be putting up nine whole points. Why does this always happen to me? This happens to me every time. You know, I felt bad. Right? Because he came in and he attacked the guy I was supposed to fight. I felt bad. Right? Because he did it to my partner last time. He's got a, you know, a history. I felt bad. So I let him revive his partner. But then he's, whatever. Man. Damn! Damn! It was not worth it. I, I guess not then. Okay. Round four. Odd 
I guess that's what I get for fucking putting faith in people. That's enough of this. Damn, 0 and 5. That sucks, mate. That's a shame. That's what I get. Right? That's what I get. I've had enough. I'll see you guys next time.